Hey everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm reviewing the top 10 all-inclusives with great beachfront locations. And luckily, they also happen to be some of the best all-inclusive resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, but our focus will definitely be their wonderful beaches. And what's more, they're adults only. So whether you're looking for a romantic and peaceful getaway, a solo trip to recharge, or a fun escape with your friends, there's something on this list for you. So keep watching as I count down the top 10 beachfront adults only all-inclusive resorts. Number 10, Heaven at the Hard Rock Hotel in Riviera Maya, Mexico. I've talked before about this resort within a resort and how it's great if you're looking for an adults only all-inclusive with a lot of action and entertainment and definitely more of a social and party vibe with bumping music, a very lively pool scene and free flowing cocktails. And because of that, the pool scene tends to overshadow the beach, which most guests pretty much ignore. You hear a lot of complaints about the beach being a letdown, mostly because it's man-made, but I disagree and think it's a great beach with a lot of unique advantages. So the Hard Rock sits on the Puerto Aventuras coast, which is known for having a great mix of jungle lagoon, sandy beaches, and great sunrises over the ocean. And the Heaven's man-made beach fronts the lagoon, making it a calm spot that's great for both sunbathing and snorkeling with a great variety of fish. So, surprisingly, for such a social and pretty loud property, this beach usually makes for a pretty quiet escape, with calm water as well, thanks to its rocky barrier. And even though it's on the smaller side, it has nice white sand and is a great spot for lounging. So the Hard Rock definitely has a reputation for being loud and sometimes crazy, but I don't think that's necessarily accurate, especially for this location, which offers you a great balance of options with its fun pool scene if you're looking for a party atmosphere, and then of course it's Lagoon Beach if you're looking for a spot for some swimming, snorkeling, and relaxation. Number 9. Le Blanc, Los Cabos, Mexico I've talked before about how great this adults-only property is. It's got great dining, one of the best pool complexes in Cabo, fantastic views and vistas from wherever you are. It even smells wonderful everywhere with aromatherapy scents piped in. And then of course, the topic of today, their wonderful beach. So this all-inclusive is located halfway between San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas. You're about 20 minutes from each and will have incredible views surrounding you while you're relaxing. Both the food and drink service at this resort are excellent, and that includes the beachside food and drink service. I recommend going back and forth between the incredible beachside pool and the beach itself for a great day of relaxation and pampering. So you guys know I love this place, and the only reason it ranks so low on this particular list is because, like most Cabo resorts, the water is too dangerous to swim in due to incredibly strong waves and surf. So definitely do not swim here, and since this video is specifically reviewing the beaches, that's why it doesn't rank higher. And I know many of you don't like beach vacations in Cabo for that reason. But otherwise, it's a great resort and a wonderful way to spend the day relaxing and taking in the views at this beautiful, all-inclusive beach. Number 8. Zoetre Paraíso de la Bonita Let's kick things off with this very romantic, boutique-sized all-inclusive resort, which is perfect if you're looking for quite a bit of pampering and luxury in your all-inclusive experience. Located just 20 minutes from Puerto Morelos, Mexico, and a convenient 20 minutes from Cancun Airport, this resort sits right on the beach in beautiful Riviera Maya, and for such a small all-inclusive with only 90 rooms, this resort has plenty of amenities and luxuries. So of course, our focus today is going to be the outdoor space, specifically the beach area, and you'll find that much of the dining is outdoors with a beachside grill, really good food as well, and the main thing you'll notice about their lovely beach is how relaxed the vibe is, with lots of loungers, and most of the guests are couples 
couples and solo travelers looking for peace and quiet, with an emphasis on wellness, which is a big part of the resort, from dining to spa treatments and overall well-being. So I really recommend this beach if you're looking for a very zen space to just kick back and relax for as long as you like. They're very big on no timetables or schedules for guests, so a great beach to just escape from the world. And because the focus on this video is beaches, I'm not going to get into a detailed review about the rooms and all the other features like I normally do, but I'd just like to quickly mention a very unique perk here, which is their Endless Privilege Program, which gives you some really great inclusions as part of your rate, like private chauffeur transfers, one included spa service, wine and cocktail hour with premium liquor every day, no specific check-in or out times, and they even used to have three times daily maid service for every room, but since the pandemic, it's been once a day. So some really special extras at this one, a very peaceful and relaxing beach, and if you're looking for a smaller all-inclusive that gives you a lot more personal attention and specialized amenities, I highly recommend it for you guys. Number seven, Excellence Oyster Bay. If you're looking for a bit more fun with your all-inclusive beach vacation, this Jamaican resort is the perfect blend of sun, beautiful beach with perfect sand, and a lively adults-only atmosphere that doesn't get too crazy. So the first thing that makes this place so special is its very unique location in northern Jamaica, right on its own peninsula just east of the Falmouth Cruise Port, so a great option for cruisers, and you really feel like you're in your own private oasis here, tucked away from everything. So quite a contrast compared to an area like Montego Bay, which is just 40 minutes away. And I think it's one of the nicest resorts in northern Jamaica, period, all-inclusive or not. The dining is great and very generous. You don't need reservations. Rooms are spacious and modern, but hands down, the best thing here is definitely their beach, which essentially stretches the entire length of the resort. And from what I've seen is pretty seaweed free, which is big when you've been to many of the other resorts in the area. The beach also has more than enough seating. The beachside wait staff is great throughout the day, bringing drinks and snacks. And you really feel like you're lounging in your own private corner of paradise with a very exclusive yet laid back vibe. It is one of the pricier all-inclusives in the general area, not super expensive, but a bit more than most of the others, but very worth it in my opinion for the beautiful beach and wonderful atmosphere. And one quick tip, try to book their beach villas if you can. They just opened in 2019 and they're really nice. Number six, Les Sivori Punta Cana. Right away, I'll tell you guys that the secluded beachfront location of this resort is hard to beat, especially in the Punta Cana area. So first off, it's a small all-inclusive with only 55 rooms, but they do it right, as every single one comes with a terrace or patio, and most even have private pools and ocean views as well. Dining is also great, great variety, and many of the locations have open-air dining with great beach views. And of course, the beach is the highlight, and this one stays very peaceful and uncrowded because it's such a small resort, which is also unique to the area. I wouldn't say it's a big beach, but considering how few guests can stay here at any one time, it's the perfect size for the property. So no crowds, you won't see vendors, just guests and staff. I do have to caution you guys that the waves here can get a little strong because it tends to be windy, especially if you visit during the winter months, which most people do, so just be careful of that. But other times of the year, it's much calmer and you can even snorkel right offshore. And another great thing about this beach is all the palm trees you'll find, so grabbing some shade is never a problem. The other thing I have to warn you guys about is while the entire resort is one of the most peaceful and relaxing you'll find anywhere, people barely talk above a whisper, it's funny, but it does come with a 55 minute pretty bumpy drive from the airport. But once you arrive, you get one of the few luxury boutique all-inclusives in Punta Cana with great rooms, dining, a very relaxing and peaceful adults-only atmosphere, and best of all, a nice beach pretty much all to yourself. Number five, Sanctuary Cap Cana. 
This resort is very well known, especially because of its unique design as a Spanish castle and its unique cliffside location. And the first reason and the main one so many guests book it is because of its convenient location, just a 15 minute drive from the Punta Cana airport. And then you'll arrive to the beautiful Cap Cana area, which is a very nice gated community. And the property itself looks like a Spanish style village with pastel colored buildings and red tile roofs. And there's a lot for you to explore. They have several pools, cafes and restaurants, a shopping plaza, and the resort went through a lot of renovations in 2018 through 19. So everything is nice and modern. But of course, we're here to talk about the beach. And it's so nice, you guys. Wide with perfect sand that slopes down to the ocean. There are plenty of loungers, cabanas, and even a beach bar shaped like a boat. And you can get great drinks, burgers, and wraps here. Or you can wait for staff to come by your lounger and take your order. The beach does get seaweed, but you'll never notice as the staff is great about clearing it up every single day. There is one unusual kind of strange thing about the beach here. Non-motorized water sports like snorkeling and kayaking are not included, which is pretty unusual. So just to let you guys know, but other than that, it's a great adults only resort with a convenient location, beautiful and unique design, lots of amenities, and best of all, a beautiful white sand beach. Number four, TRS Coral. And they really do the adults only all inclusive thing really well here with the perfect blend of fun and socializing along with plenty of opportunities to relax and unwind. So the resort is located in Playa Mujeres, Mexico, just north of the busy hotel zone in Cancun, about 45 minutes to an hour's drive from the airport, depending on traffic. And the whole style of the place is very upscale and a little bit retro actually, with incredible dining, the presentation of every dish is wonderful, you have great cabaret shows, a very fun and lively main pool, but the star of the property is of course the beach. And it's connected to the main part of the resort by a wooden walkway. And once you arrive, you'll find beautiful white sand and lots of loungers with umbrellas and even beach beds. There's even a beach club and the tropical drinks and margaritas are especially good here. Funnily enough, this is one of those all-inclusives where everyone spends the day at the pool. So much so that you usually have to get there pretty early to save one of their loungers, especially the double ones. But most guests ignore the beach for the most part, which is a real shame because it's one of the more beautiful all-inclusive resort beaches with plenty of space to lounge. So don't make that mistake. Spend some time enjoying this great beach. And I'd really recommend the overall property as well. It's great if you're looking for a stylish and social atmosphere, excellent dining and entertainment, and a truly stunning beachfront location. Number three, Galley Bay Resort Antigua. And it's an absolutely beautiful boutique-sized adults-only all-inclusive that's perfect if you're looking for that peaceful and relaxing escape from everything with a very secluded beachfront setting. So the resort sits on 56 acres of tropical land with a lagoon and bird sanctuary with lush gardens everywhere. It's just gorgeous, including its perfect white sand beach, which sits on picturesque Galley Bay. And the beach is a really good three quarter mile stretch lined with a boardwalk and palm trees. And because the beach is so strong here, unlike most resorts that are built and center around the pool, this resort is centered around the beach, literally as it touches each of the four restaurants, so you have beach views from each of them when dining, and it's also the centerpiece for all the resort's activities and entertainment. So more specifically, yoga and fitness classes, live music, and even weekly barbecues all center around the beach. Now as picture perfect as the turquoise water here is, the waves can get pretty rough, so always pay attention to the safety flags that they post. And the nice alternative is if the beach is unsafe for swimming on a particular day, the resort will provide shuttle service to a neighboring beach for a safer alternative. But no matter what day you visit, you'll get beautiful views, a relaxing and peaceful vibe, and some of the most special beach sunsets anywhere. Number two, 
Secrets Maroma Beach, which is a great romantic adults-only option located in Riviera Maya, Mexico, just south of Cancun, and I've talked in detail in many of my videos about its unique atmosphere and amenities and how great they are, so I won't get into all that, but instead jump right into its great beach, which has definitely brought this resort a lot of attention. So it sits directly on a very pretty white sand beach, and perhaps most importantly, this is a private beach, which is a rare luxury in the area. And this is also one of those beaches that you'll never have to or want to leave for the entire day, because you can do pretty much everything on it. So they have non-motorized water sports, including kayaking, snorkeling, and even windsurfing available right on the sand. The beach is lined with palapas and sunbeds for relaxation. Or, if you want to splurge, they have private cabanas with Balinese beds available to rent by the day. Plus, there's a bar with adult-sized swings where you can enjoy your cocktail of choice, and they have many. And you can even get a beachside massage, which is an extra special way to relax and unwind while listening to the ocean waves. And all of that aside, the beach itself is just beautiful. Nice powdery white sand, which is super soft to walk on. The only negative about this beach is that it does get seaweed. Not always, but it does happen. But other than that, it's one of the best beaches you'll find in an adults only all-inclusive and the perfect way to spend a beach vacation. And number one, Excellence Playa Mujeres. If you guys watch my videos, you know how strong the Excellence Resort brand is. I have two locations on this list alone, and this location is definitely their best. Located in beautiful Playa Mujeres, Mexico, just north of Cancun this time, and it has tons of incredible amenities. I could do a whole in-depth review on the property, but just a quick overview. You've got great rooms with options for swim-ups and even private plunge pools, seven pools, 10 restaurants, 11 bars, and an excellent spa. It also has that perfect mix and atmosphere of lively at times without getting wild, yet peaceful if you want that as well. But best of all, its beach is as pretty as a postcard. Do people still send those? With beautiful sand and plenty of places to lounge, from palapas to sun loungers and day beds, even massage areas, and a beach snack grill. The water itself is very calm and good for swimming. And while you might see a little bit of seaweed, it's not much since the currents around Isla Mujeres carry most of it back toward the tourist area near the hotel zone. Now, I've heard people say they think the beaches over there are better, that they're bigger with better sand, and while that may be true, this beach is a better balance of everything. You don't get that tranquil and relaxed atmosphere on those beaches that you'll find here. So, if like most of us, you're looking for a resort beach that's attractive and where you can enjoy a relaxing escape, yet still have plenty to do, this adults-only all-inclusive beach has it all. So there you have my top 10 beaches at Adults Only All Inclusives. And I'm wondering how important a good beach is to you guys. And do you prefer adults only options when booking your trips or are there other things that are more important to you? If you'd be interested in more specific top 10 videos, drop me a comment below. I always appreciate your feedback and use the most liked ones. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye guys.